Hello, and welcome back to Tea, Talk, and Textbooks. I'm your host, Tim, and today we're going on an epic adventure to our below stone circle. We've got drones, ancient stones, and a dash of mystery. Don't forget to send us a message for the transcript and glossary. And remember, shadow reading can be a great way to enhance your English skills. So let's dive in. Jack and Oliver, two tech-savvy mates, found themselves standing in the middle of Arbor Low Stone Circle. With a drone in tow, they were on a mission. To capture this ancient marvel from an angle never seen before. Ready to make history, Oliver grinned, gripping the drone controller. Let's do it, Jack responded, eyes locked onto the drone as it buzzed to life and shot up into the sky. The drone's ascent was smooth, and soon enough, the screen displayed an aerial view of the stone circle. Look at that, Jack said. It's like a crop circle, but made of stone. Oliver chuckled. Yeah, and no aliens involved, or so we think. As Oliver piloted the drone, capturing sweeping views of the site, Jack couldn't help but marvel at the technology. It's crazy to think how far we've come. We're using a piece of tech that would have seemed like witchcraft to the people who built this. Or a gift from the gods, Oliver added, executing a complex maneuver to get a panoramic shot. After capturing various angles, Oliver had an idea. How about some low altitude shots? Let's get up close and personal with these stones. Brilliant, Jack agreed. Just be careful not to crash into history. Oliver navigated the drone skillfully, capturing the texture and layout of the stones. You know, there are theories that these stones were aligned with celestial bodies. Imagine if they had drones back then. Jack laughed. They'd probably use them to deliver stone tablets or something. Finally, satisfied with their footage, Oliver landed the drone. Mission accomplished. We've got enough material here for a short film. Jack nodded, already thinking about the editing process. And who knows, maybe our footage will add a new layer to the understanding of this place, or at least make for a killer YouTube video. As they packed up, both felt a sense of achievement. They'd combined their love for history and technology in a unique way, capturing a millennia-old site through a modern lens. Today was epic, Jack concluded. Absolutely, Oliver agreed. And the best part? We've documented it all. This isn't just for us. It's for anyone who's ever wondered what ancient history would look like from the sky. Thanks for joining us on this epic journey to our below. If you've enjoyed this episode, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Don't forget to send us a message for the transcript and glossary. And remember, shadow reading can be a great way to enhance your English skills. Until next time, keep exploring.